Can we touch on Imalenini? Where do you think it went wrong? Um. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another episode of Sludge Underground. Alternative, first of its kind. Lunacy Drops, a.k.a. Skidla Samantombazan, a.k.a. Skidla Itobazindom Dwana Outshare. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I got the homie Alpha. How's it going, fam? Appreciate you, my dog. Appreciate you, my dog. Okay. Appreciate you, my dog. Oh, yeah. Let me just say, they call me Alpha the Born Sinner. They call me the core pillar, regardless of the competition. You know that the boy is ill. For those who don't know, I'm that guy. Oh, Alpha yeah. the Born Sinner. Mr. 031. I be the type of nigga. Tell a skinny bitch you shake a titty. Yeah. She shake. got no answer to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> there's so yeah, much to talk sir. about. Yeah, actually. Because that that's where I got to know you. That's where I got to know you. Yeah. 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 Tell yeah. us who goes here. So Alpha Suga. Because that's where I got to know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that guy. Like, if, if you don't know, and if you do know, uh, I'm a young lighty from the Nerms originally from Sydney. Yeah. Uh, I stay in town now, but I'm originally from Sydney. Yeah. Uh, that's where I, 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 I got my teeth cut. That's <laughs> where <laughs> that's what we call it, right? Yeah. That's where that's where I got my teeth cut. That's yeah. where um yeah, that's where a lot of my upbringing was done and uh, the person that i am today that's 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 where he was created yeah Sydney. and for you all who don't know Sydney is a very small place on the outside of durban the city center yeah yeah, I'm say, I'm say yeah i see that yeah, 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 yeah i think yeah. i think black is from that yeah road, actually fun fact actually, i didn't want to say this yeah well, fun fact me and blackie from the same flat oh yeah yeah b block boys shout out shout yeah. out squad six Shout out, shout out, um, shout out Tyler at uh, Howl Road. But yeah, Sydney, That's crazy. we Sydney Heights boys. Yeah. You understand? So s- me, Biggie from uh, Squad 6 and Blackie. Yeah. From the same flat. Uh, Blackie's from uh, fourth floor. I'm from the eighth floor. No, that's crazy. Same, like literally same flat. Right? Yeah. Like, so tell us, yeah. um, before Alpha, yeah, yeah. tell us like your government. You know, <laughs> tell us about <laughs> the nigga that you oh, were. Oh, oh, the like, light. Like the nigga that you were yeah. before everything else. Yeah. Before we get to alphabet. Yeah. Um. Okay. So turn the under mass of Most people know that. But anyways. Yeah. Um. I'm a 26 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, close up bro from the Mount Elif, Eastern Cape Mountains. You close understand? Up <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I'm yeah. that I'm that bro. I'm that bro, and a lot of people don't know that. So, yeah. what influenced you into the music as Ulo Kuzan, U- Undamas, NJ, yeah. as a close up bro? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, in, what, what introduced you to a music, especially a hip hop, and what influenced you to actually? Usuga from being a fan to an actual yeah. artist yourself. Um, okay, so I was introduced to hi- uh, hip hop as 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 uh, I'd say the culture mm-hmm. uh, from my late uncle, um, Madam Chama, R.I.P. the growth. R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, so my uncle, I actually never told the story before. So my uncle used to play a whole lot of B.I.G. in the crib, a whole mm. lot of uh, Ice Cube, a whole lot of. So when you'd wake up in the morning, like. He's bumping it. Mm. He's bumping it. So it became umtulo or 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 around the no matter Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how other people grew up to 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 listening to the blues yeah. on the Sunday. Yeah, I grew up listening to hard hip hop every morning. Mm. You understand? Because he'd wake up, shy to and go, oh man, cleaning through yards, bumping that old school hip hop. Yeah, ice cubes, the the mm. ice teas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he was that bro. Yeah. So that's where the bug kind of 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 like the music. Yeah. But the culture, I'd say, from uh, Sydney. Okay. Um, Sydney is very hip hop influenced. Mm. Um, very LA influenced. Mm. Very LA influenced. Yeah. Uh, very LA. Influenced. We can tell. With the, <laughs> you know, bro. Look at me. I look can tell black exactly. Black. Oh, I can very tell. Very LA. Clip. Very LA influence, yeah. so um, like there's Crips and Bloods in in Sydney. What? <laughs> like <laughs> for real? Huh? You ain't gonna you ain't gonna cap. Yeah. But anyways, we very LA influenced. So that culture was 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 very prominent in my my in my upbringing. Um, there's a there's a huge uh, narcotic culture in yeah. the, in, in, in Sydney, so. The hip hop and narcotic culture is sort of interlinked, as I yeah. say, very LA influenced. Yeah, there's a lot of um, 
narcotic sellers or yeah. distributors, as that I call them. <laughs> you understand? So yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of people that delve in that business the around blood. there. You understand? Yeah. So that culture of just making money, looking good, the gold, yeah. all of that shit, that's from there. You understand? That's yeah. from that culture of, of, of just... Yeah, well, so you take that and you blend it with the music that I used to get at home. Um, and then I got introduced to a young kid by the name of Lil Wayne. Mm. Um, so my uncle was a huge Nipsey Hussle fan. Yeah. But when I got introduced to Lil Wayne, he was speaking a lot of the shit that I didn't have to think about. Like Nip groomed me and made me the person, the businessman that I am today, mm. right? Because mm. I had to think about and research everything that he said. Mm. But we, when Wayne hit, it was like, yeah, it okay, was. We, you're talking about this shit that yeah. I see every day. Exactly. You understand? So yeah. when I got introduced to Lil Wayne, I was like, fuck it, bro. I could do this. Like, I have experiences like this, bro. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I, I see the shit that he talks about. You understand? So I was like, hey, let me see if I could dial that and put it into a... Uh, I, I used to write poems, though, back in the day. Mm. So I was like, let me see if I could put it into a poem and see if I could structure it into a poem. Yeah. And then, yeah. Hence we here. Yeah. And then... I be the type of nigga tell the skinny bitches shit. Let's go to that. Because that's what I'm supposed <laughs> to know about you, bro. Like, okay, this yeah, is. Yeah. This is. Fast um, forward 2019. I th- yeah, I think 2018, 2019. 20, uh, t- end 2018. Actually. Yeah, I end think there's now yeah. a Malining situation going on. Yeah, I think they were doing something called a May Mayhem or something like that. So yeah, they so drop they drop a joint called Gumawa Dog. Exactly. And because I knew, like, I was already following the people on Gumawa Dog. Yeah, who yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, skin the celestial yeah. mike celestial mike a big fan of celestial appreciate it yeah, well, so i saw to the proof so i saw would see okay i might yeah. are dropping something yeah. you were the one i didn't know yeah. but i saw the name but i was like okay yeah. the song dropped I was yeah like, crazy <laughs> dog hey, tell, up, tell us about how that happened and how you linked up with those names um, to actually making that song 2017 yeah right 2017 i'm in pretoria worst year of my life it's true worst year of my life bro i'm locked up i mean i mean general and, and what they call it general population of a maximum security prison gosh you in a dog. dog gosh like, <laughs> bro like it was that real dog. bro Fuck, dog, dog. right so 2017 right fast forward end of 2017 i come out yeah um i was only i was only locked up for like a week technically but yeah, I was in custody for some time. Shit. But right. Um. So I come out end of 2017. And I'm like, fuck it, dog. I'm done. I'm sorry. Like, mm. This shit is not happening. You feel? Yeah. I was like, I need to leave. So I leave and I come back to Durban, and my mom is like, Yo, bro, you gotta do some because the shit that was happening in Pretoria yeah. wasn't it. Yeah. Like. You gotta come back and do some. So yeah. I'm like, I I enrolled the post in, mm. and then that's when I met a guy by the name of Gene Blaze. Mm. Gene Blaze is I don't know if you'll know him. He's a creative in Durban. Yeah. So he told me about the the My Connect situation. Okay. Yeah. The See, biggest thing in Durban. Yeah, I understand. Like then, yeah. So he told me about the My Connect situation, and he's like, "Yo, bro, if we could do this." You could show people exactly what you do and also gain attraction and you can move your own way. You yeah. understand? It's like, all right, okay, cool. So we work on dropping a, a project called Before My Time. Mm-hmm. Um, I dropped Before My Time. I was in first year at Boston. Um, fast forward, that's 2018. Yeah. End of 2018, we do My Connect yeah. with, with Gene Blaze and my manager. So we're like, yo, let's do My Connect. We enter it, I go through, blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. And then semifinals, blah, 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 and how it went through. Yeah. That's where I met Celeste. That's where I met t Yeah. I so wildly didn't really have a conversation with Wobbly there. Yeah. But anyways, right? My connect happens. Boom, 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 boom. This happens. And then end of 2018, I think it was uh, October, November, around those yeah. times. T-Bag sends me a DM. He's like, yo, bro, I like what you were doing. Pull up at the sessions on Sundays. You could be, you, you see what we could do. Yeah. So I pull up and I think it was my third session there at the time. 
and then Wadley pulls up. Pulls up. Yeah, he had a gig the previous night, I think. Yeah. Drunk as a motherfucker. He's like, yo, Chance, there's a song that I want to do. Sit yeah. down, make a laptop, yeah, he starts creating a beat. Out of the blue, Jay. Hmm. We're smoking, we're smoking, we're chilling. Wabi class the speed. It's like, yo, hey, Celeste, come inside. Mm. Shop out a hook here. Mm. You understand? <laughs> mm. You understand? It's like, yo, Rasta, come inside. Shop out a hook here. Mm. 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 Ah, Rasta, come inside. I shop out a hook. Clean. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't have my Crazy. <laughs> you understand? Crazy. Yeah. And so we, we're hearing that hook pump for a long time. It's like, Alpha, jump in. Hey. And now me, I'm like, wait, dog. This bro, I'm not even like familiar, familiar like that. This bro, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. The only time I saw him was at was at was at views. Yeah. And when he was like, when when Ben, ben Chenot and figure on this on this uh, Sunday session. Yeah. Like I'm not familiar with this bro. Hey, I pull up, I shy, I shop at a verse. It's like, hey, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna break your verse alpha in half here, yeah, like this, like this, and then you're gonna shop us candy in the middle. Mm. You understand? Mm. You say you're gonna fuck us candy in the middle. I fuck us candy, candy, pieces of the thing. Ooh. You understand? So, for me, that song was was wasn't even my power, right? Like it was, I was there as a spectator, Shit. even though I was participating, but I was there as a spectator. Yeah, like, I'm like, damn. Shit. Like, like how does shit happen like this right in front of me and I'm on I'm 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 a member in this team too. Oh, that's crazy yeah, that's and that's what birthed everything. And that's and I feel like that was the beautiful moment that birthed everything. It birthed the relationship between us firstly. Yeah. It birthed the the roster, you know the name. It birthed um because in that song, people don't know P Dog's a part of that song. Yeah. P Dog does I've the ad libs on that song. I think I've heard this. Um Dando that's the XY yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. On, on my verse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like that roster of Maleningi was birthed of that song. Okay. You understand? So can, can we else, yeah. can we touch on Maleningi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the experience for you personally? For me personally, a, um the experience was amazing. Though. I don't even care. Where do you think it went wrong? I don't know. I wasn't there when it went wrong. So I wasn't in the room. But when the Wabona put the same machine, um, when I was supposed to release something and it it wasn't it wasn't um happening the right way, like it wasn't coming the right way. And okay, like in you you you've recorded. Yeah, I, I now had, you I who you music, who, yeah. who are you reporting to? Who are you telling? Okay, okay so our story. GM our GM was was T Bag. Yeah, that's our GM, and our A and R was Wabi. Okay, right. So if I needed beats, if I needed artists, if I needed recording space or situations, I'd talk to Wabi. Okay, but if I needed release, if I needed uh, anything else that has to do with rundown, I talk to T Bag. So when I, when you tell T Bag, I say I want to drop. What is T Bag saying? There's conversations about the drop that I'm not a part of that stall the drop. Okay. You understand? There's conversations that uh, the company really needs to focus on A, needs to focus on B, needs to focus on C, and I am not A, B, or C. You okay. understand? It makes sense. Like, I get to understand it when you become a businessman. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. It's, it, 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 it's really nothing personal. It's just the GM at the time had a different vision to what you had okay. as, as an artist or as talent in, yeah, in yeah. the organization, you understand? So, like, what made it go wrong is the, the, the conversations that I wasn't a part of, unfortunately, but it, it, it went wrong in the conversations, dog. I won't lie to you. And, yeah, like, it was a very sad thing, bro. Like, yeah. I have, I'm yet to see something like that yeah, in the city. That was the first time we had something of this. Like, we had some FUBU energy, bro. I think it was the second. The I main, do feel like... I main, do feel like... Because oh, there was a love the tape. Funk. No, there was a love tape situation after Witness the Funk, after yeah, the Palm yeah, yeah. Paradise. Yeah. No, no, no. There was a love, st- love tape oh, situation. Oh, oh, like oh. I remember... I remember lo- love I wasn't tape. around of that. I wasn't yeah. around with that. Yeah, yeah so... That was the second at time Love Studios. Uh, I remember. I remember Love Studios. Like, yeah, yeah I remember. I remember Love Studios. Yeah. yeah so I think it was yeah. the second wave of that. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to see more of that. Hopefully, with every champion mistake or whatever, yeah. and we can get to a place where 
Mshampi will get it right. Yeah. Uh, but, and maybe we need to start talking about the things that go wrong so that we know how to move forward. How to actually find it out. Yeah, but we need to start talking. actually like, find it out, yeah. Like, if, we ta- if, if, if I open a record label and I take an L, yeah. I need to be able to talk about the L that I took. That I took, so yeah, to, to make sure that a b c person that comes up with another record label exactly so that maybe even people who can help can be like actually you just needed to do yeah ABC. i could do this for you yes. i could do this for you yeah we all learn Facts. Yeah, well, as, as it Facts. Is, like yeah, okay. we can we can work it the thing is the most cool because I feel like it's Facts. even a Facts. enough to even learn from each other. Yeah. Like so and so thing, many other things. Another thing I feel like we as during the industry does not respect the creatives. Like the, the energy of the business or the, the people. So the business does not respect the creatives. Okay. Um I was actually having a conversation with UJP about this. UJP Kumet. Yeah. Bro, we could we could we could create the dopest shit. We could create the dopest shit. Yeah. And we'd still have to bargain to get a bag. Okay. Are you are you Lapo, the people that are commissioning the bag have been given a budget that is sufficient for anything. Okay. But they still want you, Guti, you, you'd have to beg for a percentage of what you are worth, okay. even though you create such dope shit. Do we feel like the artists themselves yeah. are well represented in those, in those negotiations, in those no. conversations? Maybe they should. Yes. Because I feel like sometimes the artists as well do not know how to represent themselves or speak for themselves. So they need bodies. Yeah, facts. They need companies. Facts, like. facts, facts. We need artist managers. Yes, exactly. We need exactly. creative directors. We yes. need PR. We need, that? we need. We need. We need yes. all of those things. Yes, but also, we need to respect these people. Yeah. Because look, bro, like it's not easy for me to 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 go to studio. Yeah. Like, record a dope ass song. Yeah. And then go to you. Tell you, hey, yo, bro, can you mix the song for me? Yeah. And go to Nasim and tell her, yo, bro, can you shoot this thing for me? Mm. I'm paying you. I'm paying him. I'm paying everybody. And then when I have to get a gig, nobody paying me. Ish, that's a <laughs> like, you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm feeling you. Like, I pay you for the recording, for mixing my song. It's yeah. beautiful. Now, I pay him for shooting it. We got a dope video. You understand? But that's what I'm saying. Good and then we, we go to gigs, nobody paying me. We got, that's what I, I feel like we need to get to a point where we need to address that disconnect between all of those things, especially in Durban, because I feel like in, there's a disconnect in In everything. Durban. In Durban. Durban is me. crazy. In Dr- oh, dog, I got to Joburg. When was it? I moved to Joburg end of last year or two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I got to Joburg, dog, in two months three months i got myself a gig that was paying like they asked me dog what is your rate invoice me you understand like conversations that give you respect yeah like what's your rate that like that conversation is a very like a very critical conversation like what's your rate yeah you understand send me an invoice yeah you get what i'm saying these are very uh respectful conversations that you could have with with with, with proper entities I feel like... Why not treat us as entities? 100%. I feel like we have a long way to go in Durban because yeah. you get a conversation where Kutiwa send us an invoice. Yeah. Do this. Yeah. Do that. That's them talking to you. And, yeah. and I'm sure now you have a way of talking to them. In Durban, we have a long way to go. There are people in Durban who will say, Hey, dog. I don't even like look at my emails. Like, as an artist, you have a problem artist. with that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem with that. Like, dog, like, like for my real. Emails, dog, like, and you'll be like, I said, dog, I sent you an email. So, like, dog, I'm email, and that time, you booked me at you know, this so, like, yo. <laughs> Dog, Dog, I'm like, 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 i but also now, I'm an artist. I feel like we should take some and the, and the, I'm, I'm full of good things. I'm not a dog. No, that's why I'm not a dog. 
Like bro, Durban rappers or Durban creatives or yeah. Durban musicians talk that they shit. can do not take themselves seriously. Boop, 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 boop. You understand? Talk that shit. They don't take themselves. Some of them, not all of your guys. You yeah. know I fuck with some of y'all. You understand? Shout out Slim Ego and Tone. He just dropped some. And that was them taking themselves seriously. You understand? Shout out, shout out. He went to go shoot a visualizer for a song that he believes in. Shout and out. And he put it out. You yeah. understand? Like a serious person. Shout out. Some of y'all don't take yourself seriously. Y'all don't take your images seriously. Y'all out here on your social medias smoking weed. Dog, I smoke weed. But you go on my Instagram, you'd never find me smoking weed. <laughs> I promise you that. I'm not, I'm not trying to prove this shit to nobody. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not, dog. Woo. Like, I am not. You get what I'm saying? I'm literally not trying to prove anything to nobody. When you shine this, there we saw Nuna Zip and artist was talking like, and as made an interview or what, he's on camera, he's high as fuck. And as no matter, it was the nigga, or it was the bro, alcohol, it like, was, he's like me now, I wanted to be like, hey, I'm like, <laughs> Like, bro, like, I'm not gonna niggas, say names, bro. Really oh, I about. know exactly what you're talking no, about. I know. I know. We'll talk about it off camera, but, but no, anyways. Is, okay. <laughs> but yeah, like, I just, I just, I just, I just, bro. Like, I feel yeah. like we need it. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's, people don't realize why I, I took the stance to go pink lighter. Yeah. You understand? Tell my, us about that. My my so the Pink Lighter um, situation is a brand that I built. Um, is a is a it was a rebrand from the Malinini situation. Yeah, I cut my hair, dyed it blonde. You understand? Yeah. Like, it was a total rebrand. Right? Yeah, people knew me as this guy, this corn road nigga from from Malinini. Yeah, yeah, then. yeah. Now I cut my hair, dyed it blonde, and I started wearing pink. You understand? Yeah. And for I, 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 like, so I'm dropping a trilogy of music right yeah. now. It's inspired by this pink lighter energy, and this, so it's a new embodiment of a persona that you like. You know what? I'm this guy now. Or yeah. We on this level now. You get what I'm saying? And that's you taking yourself seriously as an artist Boss. and creating. And like we 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 stay creating. You understand? We yeah. stay creating, and that's what I feel like you had to say or anybody or me too i have to say that because they, they these are my brothers yeah and if i don't tell them who will you understand Pause. yeah and if nobody tells me i won't i won't you I won't, won't grow learn. i won't grow exactly Pause. you get what i'm saying so we need we need to take ourselves seriously bro Dog, you, clean don't have, you don't have to wear like, expensive. The, the expensive shit, dog. Shout out African Shade. I'm here with Durban merch. Shout you out. Understand? This is a Durban guy creating Durban uh, clothing, and I'm a Durban artist promoting him. You understand? Uh, I'm looking clean, and this is all free shit. Yeah, you understand? Shout oh, out to yeah. style for the hood, for the, for, the, for the jacket. You understand? Shout like, it's all, it's all just helping each other and being conducive as, as a creative space. Because I don't want to say me, I'm a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm not an artist. No, I'm a creative. Yeah. You are a creative. He's a creative. If I am wearing a sludge hoodie, I am, I am, I am merely like, how can I say it? We, 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 we are creating a, a conducive creative space. Yeah. You understand? Where everybody can, 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 can gel their ideas with each other. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what we need, bro. Other than that, we thought we, we done. This this conversation has been a mouthful. Dog. Bro, I feel like there's so many things we can like we expand touch. on. We didn't even touch That's what anything. I'm saying. I hope <laughs> I hope we can have a part two where yeah. we can actually now yeah, listen. This is us like definitely. expand, but definitely. this this conversation, definitely. this conversation, yeah, yeah definitely. It's been the one, definitely. bro. Please Appreciate just tell it. tell the people where they can get you. Yeah, where they can like on social media. Tell the people where they can get you yeah, and yeah. if they want your music. Where yeah. they can get you if they want to book you. Yeah. Um. So. Social media platforms everywhere. It's Alpha V underscore Mr. O three one. Except on TikTok, there's no underscore on TikTok. Yeah. Um, my music is is, is on Audio Mac at the moment. As I said, I'm trying to fix my business up. Thirty three percent coming soon. Shout out Make to sure thirty three percent. That's the dream. That's the energy. Yeah, We're well. going crazy after that. Crazy. You understand? So once thirty three percent is set up, um, I'm gonna create everything that's gonna come and channeled over through it so oh, yeah. all my music just get it on audio mac audio mac under uh, dot com underscore alpha v mr 031 um f- facebook oh yeah for bookings get me on uh, uh alpha v bookings at gmail.com bro 
mm-hmm. alpha v booking at gmail.com okay. catch me there um it rates my biz the fits serious trust me it's gonna be a problem yeah facts I just checked it this morning <laughs> I just checked it this morning <laughs> that should be a lesson please check your emails yeah bro check please your check your emails check your emails check your DMs your I DMs I are not for but I like booking at 15k or something nika, 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 nika. one thing I had to re- say before we, we lock in I almost lost the booking because I didn't check my email back in the day. Um, there's a friend I had that had he connected to the FM with the news volume. Sure. Nigga had, nigga had me booked for three days, dog, at 5K per, rate, uh, per day. Fuck. That's a 15K gig, dog, that and I could have lost just because I didn't check my email. That's game, dog. Like that's Catch game. it. Trust me. Okay, today's it's Sludge Underground. Uh, to find us um, on Twitter, we are at Sludge031. Instagram at slash underground, uh, Facebook slash underground podcast, and on TikTok as well. Um, we have a website where you can get this episode on, um, and you can get the merch on. You can get almost everything slash related on the website. Um, we are also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, and I am Lunati at, uh, at Lunati underscore drops. The Lunati has a double I, and I am Andy Le Lunati Pila Matunzi on Facebook. And if I to Alpha Birds, thank appreciate you so much, you, dog. dog. Yeah, boy, my bro. Appreciate thank you, you so for much. having me. Um, appreciate you for listening to me, my dog. I will. More music coming soon. Let's go. May my niggas be calling me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> sure. the top of nigga. Tell her skinny bitch. You shake your titties and she got no ass with her. Tell her. She on the time full of red. I'm on the hill.